kind of okay. Animal fans not... back now. Uh, we're we're coming back from our um, our intermission now. The question that I asked off air is uh, to burn your bra. If she had a rematch with Kayane, what would she have done differently? So you have the floor now. Um, I would have gone Goken. I think the the very first match I would have gone Goken, and I would have probably stuck it out with Goken. To tie it like to wear her down, and then I probably would have went Ken. Uh-huh. That's probably what I should have done, and I should have just stayed away from Rose. <laughs> but again, I don't mean Goken, so I don't know enough about him. So okay, well to, so, to, to give you some praise, to me you're the unofficial champ because I saw the footsie. They're like she was hesitant to throw an attack, and she's you know try to keep maintain the distance. And one thing yeah, I did know, repelling. yeah, with evil or top level play. The clock actually is a weapon, you know, so you can force mistakes and so on and so forth. And I, I, I you know, the way that you, you were playing, it, it just, you look like you're having fun up there, you know. And that's all that yeah. you asked, you know. And and yeah, that's a good thing because a lot of people was there was looking like, how it was all zoned out, say, oh my god, I'm gonna lose. I spent all of my plane money, my beer money, my booze and everything else. I, I, I can't lose. And just you see people go ahead and panic, but you, like Alex said, you was just having fun. It's like, you know, I'm here in the finals, I'm going to do my thing. But you broke my heart when you picked Rose. I know you're throwing mind games, but you could have used add out or something. Justin lost? So, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. See, you know well, what? Oh, another thing. The crowd was, some some people in the crowd were chanting Go Balrog. So oh. I, I, yeah, they were chanting Go Balrog. And the thing about it, I know combos with Balrog more than I do okay. But again, I don't play Balrog. I just know com- I know combos with Balrog. So uh, like, yeah. and it's a counter for Chun Li. So, but I think some people were trying to get the idea of like, oh, she will not know Goken, so she probably won't know Rog. Right. But I think Goken would have been the better, because I mean, who plays Goken? Like, what? How many people do you run into? How many Gokens? Well, you in, our, that in our NMO team, we have one guy, uh, Project Justice. He he plays with Goken sometimes, and there, yeah. when I use Chun Li against his Goken, I don't know what to do. I just am yeah. completely, you know, incapacitated. I, I, I don't want to do the Hizanchu flip kick. I don't want to do the cross because he's going to counter me and it's going to hurt, you know? Yeah, that's a good Goken. Like, you know, and that my Goken's not up there, you know? <laughs> that's My Goken's not up there. So, like, I mean, granted, like, if you if you look back, you saw me parrying a lot of stuff. And it's the fact yeah. I saw it coming. I saw it because she was – I heard it, too. She was tapping. So I knew it was going to work. It Like, Looking back at it now, if I did, if I if I didn't if I wasn't up there, I'd be like, oh my god, that's so random. Mm. But I know it was not because I saw it coming. I saw a lot of that coming. So, I remember you did was, say to us earlier that she kept building up her uh, her ultra meter with the focus and whatnot when you were throwing the fireballs with Goken. Hey, at that at full it. screen, it I would have charged it up a little bit because you know the second hit would have done the double damage and you could have wore her down a little bit. You know. Yeah. I, after the match, yeah, I was like, I, um, I was thinking the same thing. I said I should charge it up a little bit instead of doing like the flip kicks. I should. Goken has one where like, and it's a parry. Totally forgot about that one. Like so, there are a lot of things that, you know, I was like, oh, I could have done that. I could have done that. Mm-hmm. You know, but, you know, it's, it's after the fact. You know. Yeah, it's so, fair. It's in all fairness, you know, you, you like you said, you don't play with Goken like that. So. I, I guess next year that might be something, but don't be surprised if she practices against Goken and try to find. Oh, one she will. Yeah, she will. It, it, it rocked know. her. It rocked her a little bit, you know. And it was just like we were saying, she started playing cautious. Like she was yeah. reluctant to take the risk and whatnot. She kept waiting for you to throw the right fireball so she can do the the ultra and go through it. Yeah. And whatnot. So, I mean, even when you had uh, did the low medium. And Goken slow recovery, and she was able to catch you. I did th- something like that earlier on Xbox Live. Like somebody hit me with the roll with Blanca, I blocked it. Yeah. And as he was rolling back, I went right into it because he has a one frame startup, you know. So. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean. You did I, it. I, I, I. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. I just yeah. I think next year she's gonna know Goken, but I mean at the same time, like, if I continue playing Goken, you know, the Goken. You know, Goken has the potential of being a really totally annoying character. Yes, that is true. And so, and it's and for me, like I, I know other Trump players that say, "Oh, Goken gives them a problem," 
Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and I know next year there's going to be a lot of Chun Lee's. So, you know, I, I might not go Goken. I might I might go another character. Okay. But I, I'm, by that time, I, I think, because I like playing Goken, by that time, I'll know enough about Goken to actually handle. If I have to go to him, I'll go to him. So. Okay. Anama, you have any questions for Burn Your Bro? Well, as well as far as that we know, like what characters you decide to stick and you want to main. Um, as far as your, what are your experiences as far as like um your best competitives in your matches on Evo? Like, just I mean, okay. Well, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I mean, it's like okay. It's like as far as no, I know. Like I said, you came in, came in second Evo, but as far as other players, you qualify matches or anything else. Was there anybody in the qualifying matches that you enjoy playing that you fight against? Anybody that you knew or? Um, Lena, the Blanca player that got fourth. Okay. I, I, when I saw her on screen, I was just like, that's not the Blanca I know. Like, I was kind of confused, because I, I put her in losers. Uh-huh. And I, I played her last year, too, like, in the uh, whole time Evo, when we first got to meet each other. Uh-huh. Um, and, yeah, like, I was really, really, like, kind of, like, wow, surprised. But, you know, it could have been jitters, it could have just been she was very cautious, but... I, when I played her, it was a really intense match because I played Goken against her, uh-huh. and it, that was a, and I've never played Goken against Blanca, <laughs> so like, you know, and I thought I was gonna lose, but I was just like, you know, I ended up winning, and that that was that was a good experience playing her, and um, I played Stephanie, the uh, the chick that was dressed up as Bison. Okay. Um, oh, I played okay. her. Yeah, it was it was pretty fun playing her, and those like were pretty much the only two that I actually really. Like it enjoyed playing really at the tournament. Okay, and and another question is, uh, I have to ask this because I'm a Ken guy. What mm-hmm. did you possess and whoop the living shit out of yellow girl like that she owed you her rent money for four months? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, there's no disrespect. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm I'm sorry. It's a legitimate question because it's like it wasn't no beast. It just you had to punch somebody. It's just like okay, you show you made a point. A point got made where that damage was 25 percent left of her life. You just kept going. It's just like everything would move counter. Like you about to make that girl like okay. She tried to hold everything in from dropping to the joystick. I recorded that on HD for my camera. But she had to try to like, hold and, face. And I just had to ask in level forty or something. It was like pop, pop, pop. Yeah. you know, like well, and they put me in losers. It's someone's gonna pay, you know. And it, it, it was like they're gonna pay. They're gonna pay. <laughs> well, it was the, it was the fact that when she put me in losers, I was like, you know what? I want to show these people that I can do more than three hit combos. You know. I, I can do, you know, nine hit combos, you know, and I kind of want to do a 15 hit, but I didn't have enough meter. Okay. But, um, so when I went in there, I noticed that it was easy to get in on her because she didn't really have good anti-air with Chun-Li. Her anti-airs weren't all there. Yeah. So I did, I was like, all right, I'm just going to keep jumping in on you until I, until you do something. And she kept doing a crouching roundhouse. And I noticed that in Hazanshu, Hazanshu's, but she didn't do that many to me, but I noticed that she would do them. But, like, the first round, I was getting a feel for it. And then after I won by, I guess I won by Ken's Ford medium, a step kick. The second, when the second round came, I was like, all right, I'm just going to rush her down. Because I know her anti-air. I've already broken it down. I, I, know, I know, you know, what she's not going to do. Yeah, I noticed and, that. I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was pretty much like, all right, now here's a time that I can, I can do some Ken combos. And waste as much meter as possible. And I did reset her a couple, like, when I got her dizzy and I actually jumped in and I did Ken's overhead, that was a mistake. Because when I jumped, I pressed back and I should just, I, and I should have just kept the stick neutral. So yeah. I wanted to do, my intention was to do just the, a regular standing roundhouse and then a fierce dragon punch. But I did the overhead and I'm like, shit. And then that's when I knew she was going to do a crouching medium or, or a crouching roundhouse of some sort. So I just blocked low. And then she jumped over me, and I was like, oh, I'm going to reset her. Just a jab. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I, just, yeah. I mean, so, but you, you did it, but you don't understand what me and Alex was watching you on Evo, and I was just looking through the HD camera, and I, we was just like, my, my jaw just dropped. Like, I cried. I said, that's my hero. <laughs> that's my that's my HKB. I see my head Ken bitch in charge. Yo, she handled that shit. <laughs> you know what? Hey, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a burn your bra groupie now, you know? And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And well, I we think, give you the shirt. She's the, NMO, shirt. the NMO audience, you know, uh, I hope most of them will help endorse you as far as, you know, if anything, we'll always throw our support for you. When you go to EVO next year, we're going to, whatever match you have, if, if I'm still, if I'm not deployed on duty uh, to mm-hmm. Afghanistan, well, I'll make sure that I have a stream just for you, friend of the show, because you, you earned it, you know? Yeah, it, 
even that if not there, I'm definitely gonna be evil next year. So I'm gonna record. It'll be all be all up in there, not close by, but I'm gonna let you know that it's there. Like animal in the back, like yo, burn her ass, bro, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you know, next though, I I don't know if I'm gonna go Ken. Not because I don't want to. I mean, actually, it, it's because I think most of the females are gonna be ready for Ken. They're gonna be ready, so you guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a surprise. Have a surprise. I'm gonna have a surprise. All right, so we're going to take another intermission to make sure everything is running straight, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> 